Hello everybody, this is John Johnston, Corn Nation, with your instant reaction to the 2021 Nebraska loss to Wisconsin, 35-28. Another one-score loss by Nebraska and Scott Frost. I think that drops him to like 5-19 and in one-score games. Still haven't beat a ranked team in four years. <sighs> I, you know, should we expect it anything different? You know, kind of in a way. I, you know, what you saw is a Nebraska team that uh, went out and fought for Scott Frost, I'd have to assume, because they fired all the offensive coaches. And you kind of went into this game and you thought, well, we're going to get smoked. And then we didn't. And we kind of matched Wisconsin, you know, drive for drive, except for two incredibly bad interceptions by Adrian Martinez, one which might have been caused by Oliver Martin failing to actually go for the ball or try for the ball. And then another one, like a fair catch interception that was thrown up in the air. For I have no idea what was going on there. If he's injured and he couldn't throw that far, if it slipped out of his hand, if he suddenly had a giant brain fart, because he tends to do this. I mean, when you when you see him toward the end of the game, and we're down 35-28, and we need a score, what do we do? We get into situations where we have a fourth and 20 with what? I don't know, 17 seconds left, whatever it was. And he has open guys, and he just freaks out, and he can't hit them. Because he gets, it's like a brain fart. And then he just overthrows a guy. And then that's, uh, you know, then we're at fourth and 20. And you got to make some freaking amazing play. Uh, you know, you could look at the last play of the game and say, well, there was obvious pass interference there. But yeah, whatever. We lost. Another one-score game. Gave up uh, 228 yards to Braylon Allen. I heard he was 17 years old. Did you guys hear that? <sighs> You know, Wisconsin did what they did. You know, they ran the ball against us. They racked up a bunch of yardage with a running back that they found who could take an open hole in the line and take it the distance. And that's what they do to us when we play them. And Graham Mertz doesn't look like the turnover machine he's been in the past. And Adrian Martinez looks like the same quarterback he's been now for a while. And what's sad about that fair catch interception is that, uh, you know, the announcers just got done making this comment about Adrian Martinez is going to come back next year or not, and Scott Frost wants him to return, and then the ball goes sailing up into the air like a wounded duck punt horrible thing, and they catch it. And the two turnovers cost us this game. It wasn't the non-call on the pass interference. I don't think officiating in this game was really any factor whatsoever. Special teams, again, reared their ugly head uh, because nobody cares to fix it, obviously. You know, kickoff return, we give up that to start the game, and, uh, uh, you know, we have a 34-yard punt. Um, we, we can't execute a punt return. Are, you know, there's that to fix. With this loss, Nebraska falls to 3-8. and eight. We're definitely not going to bank a bowl game. If we had been able to beat Wisconsin and Iowa, uh, we would have been at 5-7 and seven and probably actually made a bowl game because there aren't enough 6-6 six and six teams to fill all the slots for the 653,000 bowls we have. So it'll be another year of us sitting home. I think everybody else accepts that except me. I was still wondering if we could pull this out. Uh, what else happened in this game? You know, it's it, it, the same shit happened in this game. The same shit that happens in every other game we play. You, you realize that our defense, a whole year has been wasted on this offense. A whole year has been wasted on an Adrian Martinez that can be unbelievably wonderful and beautiful and then it on oh god ungodly terrible and play to play to play and series to series to series two tackles that can't block for shit and get holding calls all the time so you've had an incredible defense that has done amazing jobs against the best teams in the nation and you have an offense this isn't like in Dama Kinsu in 2009 where we had a a a an offense that just couldn't score any point and couldn't do anything. We have talented players on this offense. 
and they still couldn't get out of their own way for the entire season. So, what do we got left? We got Iowa left. You know, Wisconsin's going to go on. If they beat Minnesota, they get to win the Big Ten West because they figured out how to become a good team. Figured out who the players were on their team, put them together, made themselves in a good, into a good enough team to win the Big Ten West, which this year would have been a really good year for Nebraska to win the Big Ten West because it was a freaking mess, and it still is kind of a freaking mess. The only reason some of these teams are going to have all their wins is because the rest of the Big Ten West is not really that wonderful. So, I, you know, disappointing. I guess, you know, I'll end with this. Scott Frost is going to get another year. Doesn't matter what I think about it. Doesn't matter what you think about it. You know, maybe the fact that his team fought for him this much, he deserves another year. And the only th good thing I've been able to come up with is, you know what, if he fails with next year's schedule, then he needs to fail. You know what I mean? Right now, the fan base is pretty divided, I'd say, about whether or not Scott Frost should return or not. And next year, if he fails, it, it better... It, it, put it this way. If he doesn't get to, like, eight wins and win the, contend for the Big Ten West at the least, then he should be fired next year. That's what I'd say right now, looking to next year. But I think that he's either going to go over that limit or he's going to underperform like he has in the previous four years where he couldn't win these fucking one-score games. Maybe he'll figure out how to actually pay attention to the special teams as the CEO coach. Maybe he'll find an offensive coordinator and, uh, you know, actually trust the guy to let him coach. And that offensive coordinator will hire his staff members. that will all work together and everything will pull together many, many, many months from now. It's like you can put yourself in a stasis, like in sci-fi. Just, I don't know. You know what you could do? You know what you could do? You could, like, uh, put yourself in stasis, go to the moon, and come back, and then it'd be time for the next Nebraska football season. You'd just show up and go, what happened? Kind of like a guy waking up out of a coma in a movie. All right. You notice the nice fire? Yeah, I'm at my palatial estate in Dallas, Texas this time. I'm not in the bathroom. I'm not outside my house. I'm not in my office. My dog isn't anywhere around. It's really nice out. Another Nebraska loss. There is no hope. Fuck everything. Go Big Red.